Hey, 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 hey! Mr. Wara here again at your service! Woohoo! Ring the bell! Ding! You know, I need to get me a bell. Boom! <laughs> hey, oh my goodness, poor fella, what are you doing? Uh, you're getting wet. You're in the rain. You know, we don't have our feature animal. No offense, you're not an animal, but I guess you are an animal. You're part of the animal kingdom there, you little human friend, but uh, you know what I mean. You don't seem like the feature animal we normally have, so kind of wondering why you're here but okay oh you know what maybe the problem has something to do with water or rain or something i don't know okay well um you're kind of blocking a lot of our screen here so you know i'm just going to yeah i'm gonna give you the old delete you know i'm sorry yeah i mean like just poof, you're gonna be gone poof you're gone sorry buddy okay yeah you know sometimes you know this job's not always easy sometimes you gotta make certain decisions you know where you say hey you know what he's really in the way sorry Anyway, look at we're on lesson 9.1. Oh my goodness, it's the first lesson in a section, I dare say. Could this possibly be called? Algebra. Oh my goodness. Algebra. Patterns and graphing. That's what we're getting into now. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll be fine. Look at the topic. Line plots. Hmm, okay, that seems fairly reasonable. Line plots. The essential question. Our learning target. Our objective. Our purpose. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. How can a line plot help you find an average with data given in fractions? Oh, it sounds really hard. But you know what? Like always, we always seem to figure it out. And we always seem to do really well when we <gasps> unlock the problem. That's right, my friends. Real world, baby. Real world. Real world. Okay. I don't know who that was. Hey, producer, are you making noises in my microphone? Okay. Anyway, it says students have measured difference. Uh, bleh, 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 bleh. Let's try that again. Students have measured different amounts of water into beakers for an experiment. The amount of water in each beaker is listed below. Wow. Okay, let's see commas. So we have a quarter cup, quarter cup, half cup, three quarter cup, quarter cup, quarter cup. Da, dun, da, 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 dun, 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 dun. Okay, sorry. And then we have a half cup, a quarter cup, 34th cups. Ooh, three quarter cup. Ooh, there's so many. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, go math. What do we do next? Well, if the total amount of water stayed the same, what would be the average, ooh, there's a word I haven't heard before, average amount of water in a beaker? Let's see. Step one, count the number of cups for each amount. Okay. Draw an X for the number of times each amount is recorded to complete the line plot. Okay, it looks like they started for us. So let me go ahead and start. So first thing is like the number of times. So count the number of cups for each amount. Okay. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see seven of the quarter cups. And I see one, two, three, four on the number line. I'm sorry, line plot. So I need to add, I guess, three more, right? Because I need to have seven of them to complete that. Oh, those are just pretty X's. Have you ever seen anything so? Okay, it's the color. Well, now we have to do, we had seven. So I'm gonna put a seven here. I guess that's what goes, because it does say draw an X for the number of times each amount is recorded to complete the line plot. Okay, yeah, one half. I see one, two, and that's all I see is two. Two X's. Oh, there you go. As beautiful. Yes, they were. Okay, and there's two, three quarters. See, one, two, three. I see three. And they already put a one there, so I guess I'm just going to put two there. I don't know. I'm just guessing. You know, it sounds good. Okay. Oh, that three got a little bit sloppy. Three. Thank you. Okay. Oh, am I going to leave that smudge there? Yeah. I'm just going to leave him there. Ugh, I can't. He's bugging me. Okay, you got to come off. Sorry, my friend. Oh, now the three's way over there. I want it back over. Okay. Mr. Wara. You're having way too much fun. I know. Come on, three. There you go. All better. Step two. Find the total amount of water in all the beakers or in all of the beakers that contain a quarter cup of water. All right. The total amount of water. So that means adding. See, even I know that. Add. Okay. So since I have seven of the quarters, could I say then that's like a quarter, quarter, quarter? That's really one quarter times seven because I'm really saying seven copies of one quarter. And isn't that just seven fourths then? Huh? Oh, but here, oh, it's not asking me to do that. It just says, oh, there's how many beakers with a, okay. That's right, baby steps. 
<laughs> First or seven. Come on, Mr. Warren. You can take baby steps. You can do it. Baby step. Okay. Seven beakers with a quarter cup of water. Okay. So there are, see, that's what I was going to do. Seven fourths or that's what I was jumping way over here. Seven fourths. See, my mind was thinking way ahead. Okay. Or one and three quarters because I can see one hole in there because there's four fourths would equal one hole and then that would be at least three left over. See how I did that? Woo, yeah. Mr. War has got some game, huh? I'm in the zone. Move aside. No. Mr. War is coming by. Oh, don't forget to say hi. Okay, Mr. War, you really, really need to consider using a different brand of coffee. I think that's a little bit strong. <laughs> Numero tres. It says, find the total amount of water in all of the beakers that contain one half cup of water. I said that really fast. Let me slow down. Find the total amount of water in all of the beakers that contain one half cup of water. I don't remember how many there were. It's like three. Two. There's just two of them. That was the other one was three. Okay. So two beakers with a half cup of water. So there are how many halves? Two halves. Or two halves is two over two. Or one cup. Oh my goodness. It's like fill in the blank. Step four. Find the total amount of water in all of the beakers that contain three quarter cup of water. I need to have my H2O. But I'm getting kind of thirsty now that I think about it. Ooh, give me some water. So that's going to be nine fourths. Ooh, that pink is really starting to burn in my eyes. Ooh, is it just me? All right, that's going to be two and one quarter because you see the two. That's right, eight with the one. Two and one quarter. It's kind of interesting because in this one here, you can just see, look at the, the first factor here represents the number of beakers that has that three quarters. Yeah, the second factor here, though, represents the part of a cup of water each beaker can hold. So that's a kind of an important thing they were looking at. Okay. Step five. So it says add to find the total amount of water in all of the beakers. Okay, why are we doing that? I don't get it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. Okay, my brain cells just came back on duty. Oh, maybe it's because... Ah, oh, that's right, because I need to find the sum of all of the amounts of water. Remember, we had a different size... Yeah, in the beakers. So before I can divide the total by the number of beakers, because we need to do that, we need to add them all together first. Okay, one and three quarters. Plus one, plus two and one quarter. Oh. These two numbers, they're compatible. That's right. These two numbers, they, well, let's just say, when they come together, they make whole things happen, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that's right. It makes a whole number, one whole number. Okay, Mr. War, you're getting really, really goofy here. All right, but that's one, though. It is. And there's another one, and then there's two, and there's another one. So two plus one is three plus four, five. It's all right there. Cinco. Yes. Step six. Divide the sum you found in step five by the number of beakers to find the average. Okay, they actually had the five over here anyway. Mr. Wara, you could have just looked over step six. I wasn't looking over there. I just wasn't. What can I say? So it's going to be five divided by 12, which is just five over 12. So the average amount of water in a beaker is, it's going to be five twelfths. Now, so we're taking the five total cups and we're dividing it by the 12 different items, giving us the average. And that's really what average is all about. Average is about trying to find a total amount and almost equalizing it a little bit. You know, if you had one cup that had one cup and you had another cup that had three cups in it, what's the average amount of water between the two of them would be two cups, right? Because kind of in the middle, because the one cup's a little bit on the low side, the cup the one with the three cups is a little on the high side, so we kind of come in the middle. That's what average does. It kind of brings all those numbers together to give us a number that kind of falls in the middle there somewhere. Not necessarily right in the middle, but, you know, the general idea. Okay. Woo-hoo. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That was a lot of fun. But I got to tell you, Mr. Wara, please use a different color. Yeah, you know what? I agree. You know, my executive producer that sounded just like me. Yeah, you know what? He says use a different color. Page master. Thank you. That does say try this. Try this. Wait, the rainy guy is back. <laughs> hey, you're still in the water. Dude, you were part of the problem, you know, from the previous page because it had to do with water. I don't know if this really has anything to do with water now. So I'm sorry. You, you got to move on. Yeah, sorry. Feature buddy, feature person, you know. Yeah, it's just kind of how it is. I know you really didn't get the full, yeah, storyline. Sorry, uh, it's just kind of how it is. You know, what? All right, I guess we could let you just stay on the page and watch. That's fine. Oh, these feature animals and people. It's getting to be a little too much here. Yes, that's fine. Okay, yeah, just 
Yeah, just no. It's not like you can become famous now just because you're on this page, okay? You know, you're just a wet guy. That's what we're going to call you for now, okay? Although, I must say, your purple matches with our page. That's very nice. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll let you stay, all right? <laughs> it says you can use the order of operations to find the average. Oh, cool. Solve the problem as a series of expressions that use parentheses and brackets to separate them. Ooh. Perform operations from inside the parentheses to the outer brackets. My goodness, it sounds like I'm a doctor, doesn't it? Doctor, you have an operation here. You need to go into the inside of the parentheses and work your way to the outer brackets. <laughs> sounds like the outer joints. Okay, anyway, let's see if we can do that. Perform the operations inside the parentheses. Okay, so seven times one quarter? Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, it's a calming blue. Blue on blue. Do, do. And then it says plus. Well, we're supposed to go in that little box. Oh, because two times a half is one. I get it. Er, Mr. S Mr. Warrior, you're working kind of slow today. Get that brain in gear. Okay, three times three is nine. Nine fours, I think, I hope. Okay, you know, we're saying, hey, we just go back and erase it and we redo. It's okay. Okay, seven. Oh, this looks nice. I mean, from the standpoint of I have, oh, and then divided by 12. Okay, so this is already here. So I just need to put all that in there. And that one little box is going to fit. Well, let's see, that's 16. Oh, I get it. Yeah, I get it because we have 16. Nine plus seven is 16. And 16, force is four plus one is five. Divide, okay. 5 divided by 12. Write the expression as a fraction. Okay, we've done that. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Do I get credit for that? Yeah. We're moving, grooving, getting down. Yeah, okay. Mr. War, that was kind of cool like 30 years ago. Oh, okay. So sorry. Bye, rainy guy. I mean, what I call him? No, wet guy. Rainy guy. Oh, actually, you know what? I like rainy guy better. See you later, rainy guy. I think I might have called you that already anyway. Bye. Okay, we have an example. What's this? Uh, Rainy? I don't know. Maybe that's your name. Rainy. Oh, this is too funny. Rainy? If it's pronounced rain, pain. Rain divides three two-ounce bags of rice into smaller bags. I, it looks like here. Look at our picture. Camera guy. Yeah, okay. I see two bags of rice. Cool. Okay. The first bag is divided into bags weighing one six ounce each. The second bag is divided into bags weighing one third ounce each and the third bag is divided into bags weighing one half ounce each find the number of one sixth one third and one half ounce rice bags then graph the result on the line plot can i show what they mean by find the number of are we going for average here i don't know let's see let's follow the steps step one write a title for your line plot it should describe what you are counting oh okay well, let's call it rice bags. <laughs> well, that's really what it is, right? Weight of rice bags. Oh, cool. We still have the blue. Woo, yeah. Weight of rice bags. There's a line down there. That looks like that way where a title could go. Now it says step two. Label one six, one third, and one half on the line plot to show the different amounts into which the three two ounce bags of rice are divided. Now, I need to draw a picture for myself here, but this is where my line plot's going to go. Well, if we have two ounce bags, okay, that's what we have here. And ounce, boy, that is a really weird word to spell, isn't it? Ounce. Ooh, okay. Abbreviation I like is Oz. Okay, so we have two ounce bags, so that's been divided into one six. I get one six ounce. Okay, and then, so how many of the one six ounces is going to make up one ounce? See what I'm saying? It's going to need six of them to make one ounce. So you double, you get 12. 12? Oh, my goodness. I know. Like my tower? It's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Ah! Okay. And then it says the one-third one. It says the second bag is divided into bags weighing one-third. Okay. Same thing here. I'm just going to write my one-third right here. Okay. There's three of them is going to make one ounce. And then three more would make another ounce. So we have six. Wow. One half. Oh, that's nice. That number. That fraction is the largest, so it's going to be easy. One half, one half, one half, one half. Four. Four halves make two. So here we go. So I did do that, right? Write a total for, oh, I jumped ahead. Label one six, one third, and one half on the line plot to show the different amounts into which. Step three, use division to find the number of one sixth ounce, one third ounce, and one half ounce bags that were made from the three original 
two ounce bags of rice. Okay, so we have two divided. Oh, you know what? This is what, oh, see what I was doing? I kind of did on my own. I really, Mr. War, you should just follow the steps. <laughs> I didn't. Okay, so that's what they're trying to get us to do is that step right there. But we did it kind of reverse. So two times something, right? Yeah, two times six is going to equal 12. Ah, two times three, this is so much easier. Okay. And of course, two times two equals four. Do you see where we're going with this? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Mr. Warren, this isn't the first time that you've done this where you went ahead and you started doing the problem and you didn't follow the steps. I do that because it's just natural for me to want to solve the problem and I got away from the main steps of the go math. Okay. I apologize. Okay. Step four. Now, step four says draw an X. Oops. Above one, six, one, third, one half to show the number of rice bags. And I already did that. Okay. Uh, except for the math talk says, explain why there are more one six ounce rice bags than one half ounce rice bags. Oh, okay. Well, I would explain that as, well, first of all, actually it's, it's three times as much. Yeah, because one half is three times larger. If it's larger, the bag's bigger. So the one half, you know, two of them fills and makes a whole ounce. But with the one six, because it's just one third the size of one half, it's a lot smaller. You need six of those small little bags to... To come together it would take it three times as many one six ounce bags to make a half ounce bag and so there will be three times as many one six ounce bags simple as that to get to the two ounces and we actually kind of talked about that a little bit anyway so there you go my friends yeah 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 it's the end of another math video yeah i had a lot of fun this was cool this is a cool activity. You know, this is why I love math. Because every time, it's like, sometimes it's new, it's different, but we're always working with numbers. And I'm going to tell you something. Numbers don't lie. They just don't. Numbers always tell the truth. When you figure them out, hey, two times two was four since I was eight years old. So, anyway. Yeah. Don't ask how old I am now. I'm getting way up there now. My friends, it's been great. Now, live long and prosper.